If the 27th gate is in your sun or in your conscious core essence, you'll have one of these particular purposes or incarnation crosses. The 27th gate is all about nourishment and caring. It's a part of the tribal defense circuit. And what we saw in the last video was we took a look at laws and how laws are written. And that really comes from the core of the 50th gate. And the 50th gate is all about those values and laws that are written into the tribe. Now over on this side, we're looking at the nourishment and caring. So even though we know we need laws, we need to have these laws, the thing to understand is that you might have a good law, you might have a good rule. It is, is it actually nurturing? Is it nurturing humanity? Is it caring about the whole? And that really is what the 27 brings to us is now that we have all these laws, there's going to be, there's going to be unexpected things that take place in the right angle cross that allow us to go, hmm, maybe that law doesn't work for everyone. So tribally, sometimes it's going to look a lot more lenient than it would if that law was written collectively. So the tribe is more lenient. The tribe has its, bro its basic codes and the tribe is more lenient on its people. But the laws are actually written, end up being written collectively, for the collective. So it's a very different kind of thing. So when you come into the 27, you come into a very odd right angle cross, and that's the right angle cross of the unexpected. And that's exactly what these people are. They're always going to be something totally unexpected about them that either emerges out of getting to know them or just suddenly is there. But is more than that. Their lives are marked by the unexpected. And for them, the uncertainty of life is what they bring into the world. So in essence, they bring the chaos theory. They bring into the world that sense that you can't predict this or that or whatever. Because those that bring chaos are designed to do so. So it's very nice that we have these laws that we just wrote. But you can have an unexpected situation in which you have to care more about the being than honoring the law. So there is this nourishing aspect on this side. It's about, you know, wait a minute, wait a minute. What about the unexpected? What's fun is that Ra looked back. He went back and looked at when Uranus was discovered, when Pluto, Neptune, and Uranus all were discovered on the cross of the unexpected. And there's something very unique within this cross because it really is on a macrocosmic level. Brings us surprise and the unexpected, both positively and negatively. So if you come in on this right angle cross, you will have to deal with the unexpected in your personal life. You're self-absorbed in that process. There's no way to escape it. As it is always going to pop up in your life. Thus, there can be those moments where radical change is something that can happen. So how do you gather wealth? Having this as your purpose. Unexpected purpose. So the 41 is all about that new experience. Setting up new expectations. The 31 is influence. 28 is that fear, that fear, that purpose will not be fulfilled. But it's also about the risk taker. And the 27 is that nour nourishment and caring. So take a look at all four of those particular gates and recognize that when you just show up in this unexpected what will happen is that there will be this influence for people to adjust their expectations. And maybe they need to take a risk or two. 
So all keynoting or all word and languaging that you can use when you're setting up your information on your website or or in your or in your resume that you know you're you're here you know what risks are about you know how to nourish and care and to know that the the rug can get pulled out from under us at any moment for us to then pivot into something new now the juxtaposition cross of caring these guys are under a lot of pressure to need the right principles and they're going to retreat because they're going to take take note of that hu- that human experiential way and they're going to be dictating and and note taking on that people coming in on this cross are very fixed on having to care about everyone and everything all the time and it can carry a great burden Human beings struggle deeply. And with that 28th gate being the fear of death, really it is the fear of the lack of purpose in our lives. So only through caring can they find some way to compensate for that sense of lack of purpose. So juxtaposition people, caring. How do you make money on this? Again, helping people really hone in on their own principles. What is it that they need to document in their lives so that their purpose can be fulfilled and and they can feel nourished and cared for in that? And what you'll notice is that most of the time you're caring and nourishing for someone else. And anybody that gets to experience that is going to have a benefit in their life. So the left angle cross of alignment, this is really one of the the biggest words used in the spiritual language, alignment, alignment, alignment. Well, alignment is pivoting, really. It's about pivoting because the unexpected happens and this left angle cross can pivot and make a realignment to what it needs to realign to. So the gift always of a left angle is being interconnected with past geometries. So there is a sense of movement anytime you get to a left angle cross. One of the most interesting things about these left angle cross of alignment people is that they always have a way of dealing with the unexpected. They're the ones who know how to take that moment of transition and give it a proper direction to align it. Now, This isn't going to be done without risk. One of the things to see about the left angle cross is that often can be, can bring great disaster. Think about it in that way. You're riding a motorcycle and all of a sudden a car backs up in the driveway directly in front of you and the right angle cross of the unexpected hits the car. But what the left angle cross of alignment knows how to do is to actually take that hit, pivot its body, and land in the bushes instead of landing on the pavement and smacking their heads. So whatever happens in the unexpected, the the left angle cross can start putting it into proper use and bringing it back into the flow. It just becomes a blip on the radar and these people absolutely move on so one of the anecdotes that Ra talks about when it comes to this unexpected caring and alignment is that Jupiter was hit with 27 different fragments of a comet and one of the things that the researchers said was with the chemical composition that was created from this hit on Jupiter the chemical composition that they could could put together said it would have smelled like fish. Well, it just so happens that by the time these 27 different aspects hit Jupiter, started off as the unexpected, and then moved to this cross of alignment, it actually ended the Piscean Age, which is all about fish. So again, a macrocosmic 
um, take looking at all of this kind of stuff. Ra did lots of of research into once he understood human design and had the full functionality of it, then he went back into all kinds of different things and could absolutely see the timelines all take place. So if you're carrying this, you will react instantaneously to the unexpected and take advantage of it. You're the ones who make so many people unhappy because you leave them behind because they want to wallow in their whatever. This is about pivoting, changing, switching it up. And you see the detour sign and take it. It's not a it's not an inconvenience, I guess. You take advantage of it. So these people will take advantage of the unexpected to align themselves to the unexpected and then suffer perhaps the most drastic consequences. That's when we get to the sixth line, the blaze of glory, because it can be very um, depressive once we get to the blaze of glory. But the fifth line people, they're projected on as though they are going to be able to shift and align. And maybe, maybe they can. So how I see these people I see the unexpected. This really is what happens in our world, period. With constant mutation happening, there's always a shift. There's always an adjustment. There's always something taking place. The rug is getting pulled out from underneath our proverbial feet. And when when this takes place, those that are on that left angle cross of alignment provide us with this ability to, hmm, they help us karmically to align to whatever that unexpected was. Those that are having the trip of the unexpected, sometimes it can be difficult and definitely the caring aspect can get very burdensome. Alignments, pivoting, pivoting a lot. And there, there's, there's great wealth that can be in any of these because it really is about recognizing when the unexpected comes, that means that there's a massive shift happening. And when we can recognize that massive shift, we can then see the trend and move with the trend in the business world. All right, have fun playing around with this.